Nigeria is in the news again, this time as a global hub for cocaine trafficking. The UN Office on Drugs and Crime recently released its Global Cocaine Report for 2023. The 184-page document noted that Nigeria played a significant role in smuggling activities across West and North Africa. Here are all the big talking points from the report. Nigerians trafficked cocaine to 20 countries from 2018 to 2021. Nigerians have directly trafficked cocaine to The most common means of cocaine trafficking is through drug mills via a widespread of trafficking network. Saudi Arabian authorities disclosed that cocaine trafficked by air from Nigeria was on the rise. Based on 52 specific seizures from 2019, a good number was trafficked by air using drug mills. Other means of domestic trafficking were by mail, express parcel, or commercial flights. A small number of these used vehicles. The report also noted that the most prominent departure country for cocaine reaching Nigeria is Brazil. Cocaine comes into Nigeria via a popular route. According to the report, cocaine comes in through all major airports like the Abuja, Lagos, Kano, and Enugu airports. It also comes in through land borders like Seme, border with Bene, and Ilela, borders with Ninje, and seaports like the ones at Apapa, Tinkan Island, and One. Nigeria dominates the cocaine trafficking trade in Africa, especially at Dila and mid-level. Nigeria takes the lead in drug trafficking in Africa, followed by Morocco in North Africa, with a sizable presence of Nigerians involved in cocaine trafficking. The report further notes that Nigeria dominates cocaine trafficking at mid-level and Dila level, rather than at a large scale. Nigerian trafficking gangs have established presence outside the country. In Côte d'Ivoire, Lebanese, Italian, Brazilian, and Nigerian criminal groups control cocaine trafficking in the country. The report warned about the spread of Nigerian cult groups involved in the trafficking trade in Europe and South America. Now that you know the statistics, what can the government do about it? Here are some suggestions. One, prosecute security agents colluding with drug mills. Two, tighten porous borders where the drugs flow through. Three, fight cultism and high unemployment to discourage young Nigerians from criminal activities. Ultimately, the war against drugs is a very long one. There are no quick fixes. If we want Nigeria to stop dominating the drug trafficking charts, the government must take active steps to tackle the challenges head on. Follow us for more important information like this one.